The world knows Sherlock Holmes, but do not know that he has a sister Enola Holmes. This girl is a super genius from birth. What is the extent of genius? Sherlock had an IQ of 160, and she was 180. Since she was a child, she has mastered crossword puzzles, history, biochemistry, archery, fencing, fighting, even disguise. She had a father, who died at a young age. She also had two older brothers. She left home at an early age. For 16 years, the only person she had with her was her mother, Mrs. Holmes. However, on her 16th birthday, her mother disappeared. What a coincidence! Just after her disappearance, the two older brothers return. The older brother, Mycroft, is a civil servant. He has power and influence. The second brother, Sherlock, is a famous detective. Talented, he has solved many cases. Enola is excited to pick up her two brothers. The older brother and the second brother did not know her at all. How embarrassing. Knowing that this girl is his sister, Mycroft opened his mouth and began to spit. In addition to his poisonous mouth, Mycroft also has an extremely serious obsessive compulsive disorder. He couldn't stand his sister's untidy appearance. He decided to transform her, to make her a real lady. To do this, he called in the principal of the lady's school, to teach her noble manners. Enola, who was used to being a lady. She didn't want to be a lady. Not to mention the fact that her mother is still missing. But these two brothers were not human. They didn't care about her at all. They had no intention of finding her. Enola was furious. Since her brothers couldn't be trusted, then we had to rely on ourselves. Enola searched the entire house. Finally, she found a clue left by her mother. A mysterious wooden box. Inside the box were a few brushes. And a few inexplicable cards. Enola rummaged around. She accidentally found a hidden note. Underneath the note was a series of unordered letters. This is the most familiar anagram to Enola. Deciphered by decoding. Rearranged. The disordered string of letters finally formed a phrase. Look at my asshole. Enola was completely baffled. She looked through all the chrysanthemums in the house. But found nothing. Enola suddenly realized. The chrysanthemums were not the chrysanthemums her mother had planted. They were painted chrysanthemums. She quickly took off the picture frame. And she found a letter from the back. Opening the envelope. Inside was not only a thick pile of money. There were also instructions left by her mother. Enola mumbled a few times. It all became clear at once. He would go his own way. He was going to find his mother in his own way. Enola quickly packed his bags. He changed into men's clothes. Then he threw his bike to the side of the road. To make it look like he was running away. And quietly climbed onto the train to London. At home, Mycroft lifted the blanket and was furious. On the other hand, Enola was shocked when she got on the train. This handsome, beautiful man named Bran. He was a noble marquis of the British Empire. He was being chased at the moment. Enola doesn't like that. She didn't care. She turned around and left. But as soon as she stepped out of the carriage, there was a scream behind him. It was a killer. In the nick of time, Enola knocked out the killer and saved Bran. To get away from the killer, the two of them jumped off the train together. They escaped death. Enola didn't like this guy at all. She disliked him so much. Bran clung to her like a dog's paw. The two of them traveled together. Finally, they arrive in London. Enola ditches Bran. She started her big plan to find her mother, but she didn't know that. At this time, the two brothers had already set up a net. The old lady suddenly realized the young man in front of her may be a girl. So she put on the wrap and changed into a woman's dress. She looked more like a woman. This is Enola's unique skill, disguise. As the sister of Sherlock Holmes, this skill has been used by her completely, surpassed her brother. On the streets of London, people are talking about a strange thing, a marquis who was going to inherit the title. On the day before the coronation, he suddenly disappeared. This strange story, Enola had no interest in it. She just wanted to find her mother quickly. She used a crossword puzzle that only she and her mother could read, and put it in every newspaper, hoping that her mother would see it. By deciphering the words on the flower cards, Enola got the name of a place, Limehouse Road, to Limehouse Road. Enola did find a clue, the purple ribbon tied to the door. It looked exactly like the one on her mother's wooden box. And that's not all. She often saw a group of strange women coming to the house. 
Those women had, they all had purple ribbons like that. Enola entered through the window. And right away she saw a chemistry lab table. It looked exactly like the one at home. Enola concluded, this was her mother's secret base. Besides that, there were a lot of flyers on the table. All about women's suffrage. In addition, the room was filled with a large amount of raw materials, all used to make explosives. What was mom up to? Enola was full of doubts. Enola had just left the house. And the killer appeared. The killer held her head in his hands, forcing her to ask for Bran's whereabouts. Pinned in the water, Enola struggled for her life. She was slowly losing her energy. Unbeknownst to her, her best skill was holding her breath. With the fighting skills she had trained since childhood, Enola tried to subdue the killer. But the killer was too strong. Enola was no match for him. In desperation, Enola fled into her mother's base, ignited all the explosives in the room, and with the fireworks flying in the sky, and quickly escaped. The more she thought about it, the more Enola came back. She decided that Bran's life was in danger. As a marquee, Bran lived in a large castle, in addition to his uncle, mother and grandmother. There are only numerous servants, and this time Enola was disguised, was a widow. He went in as a widow sleuth, said he was going to find Bran for them, and that he was Sherlock's assistant. Coincidentally, another detective is also present. This guy happens to be a friend of Sherlock's. The two of them started spitting at each other right then and there. This is the end. They were thrown out together. Unhappy, Enola disguised as a florist again. She sneaks into Bran's secret base. This is where all Bran's secrets are hidden. Enola followed the clues. Bran was found in the flower market. Seeing Enola, Bran was very happy. Follow Enola back to the hotel. But these big pants. Enola was immediately embarrassed. Enola brought Bran back. Just don't want him to be in danger. Because from the traces, Bran's family was trying to kill Bran. Bran doesn't believe it. It was Charlotte's best friend who came after him. The bearded detective. And his real identity. Was actually one of Mycroft's men. The world says Sherlock Holmes is a genius. Not knowing that his brother, Mycroft, is the real genius. The one person Sherlock couldn't find. Mycroft just moved his fingers. And he found it easily. Enola has always admired her second brother Sherlock. Only now did she realize that. Big brother Mycroft. Is the scariest of the three siblings? Mycroft took his sister back. He sent her to the school of ladies overnight. It was hell for Nora. Here she had to learn to walk. Embroidery. Tongue twisters. Laughing. She even learned how to eat. Enola suffered terribly. At the most desperate moment. Bran appeared. He pretended to be a pun after. In London. A detective more powerful than Sherlock was born. Miss Holmes. And her story was only the beginning.